All right, in this video, we're talking about how to shoot 360 degrees from the saddle, all on your strong side. This could maybe be helpful for you um, if you're a one sticker, doing the one stick method, or if you have multiple sticks. It's pretty similar to if you had a ring of steps going all the way around the tree. Um, it's just that we're gonna utilize the platform and one climbing stick. When you put your climbing stick in, the top steps of your climbing stick need to be slightly below your platform or the, about the same height as your platform. And it helps if your next step under your top steps are kind of close together. Mine's 12 inches apart. So one problem I had was the, between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock my weak side. So if I'm if you're the tree right now and I'm sitting in my saddle, this would be my strong side. So to get that shot over there, um, I've seen some people um, go where they kind of kneel or sit along the tree and go all the way around. Uh, that way, one thing I don't like about that is you're turning your back on the deer. And I like to see the deer at all times because I, you might have to freeze. And I might see, see you or smell you. Sometimes you just need to be still and freeze and that's turning your back to the animal, which I didn't like. And of course, another option was if my, uh, my tether's right here onto my bridge, if I needed to shoot over there, the other option would be grab my bow and just go like this with the tether across your chest, which is super stable. But knowing me, I would hit my arrow, arrow on, be, I have a hard time just like putting your bow down and trying to get it just right so it's not bumping anything. I thought that was maybe not the best option for me. I suppose if I practice it enough, it may work. So the main advantage of doing it this way is that you would always be facing the animal. You always be able to look up and keep an eye. And also, <clears throat> one advantage also that those other two methods don't have of shooting your weak side is that you're always hiding yourself from the animal <clears throat> doing it this way if you're shooting on the weak side and I was able to go super slow I, uh, you'll see I have my bow in my hand to make it a little more realistic and I think it just works good one thing that might be easier too is if you're a self filmer if you self film your hunts I think getting this footage filmed on your weak side would be easier doing it this way because you always have Obviously, if you're right-handed, your bow will be in your left hand. Your right hand will always be free uh, to move the camera. You could even easily just re reach around the tree, and, or if you're around the tree already, just reach around and move your camera where you need it to be. So here's a basic 6 o'clock, all strong side, to about 9 o'clock there, probably to 10 o'clock right there. Two feet on the platform, probably your simplest shot. Here I'm going right foot on the platform, left on the upper left step of my stick. I'm able to get to about 8 o'clock all the way to noon or 1 o'clock. And then right here, two feet on my stick. So you got to have a stick with um, a step on each side. And right here, so two feet on the stick, left knee touching. It actually works really good. It takes you all the way from... 3 o'clock all the way back to about 12. Really simple, real stable. And here is the tougher shot. As you can see, it helps to step down on the next step. And I swing my left foot around, left on the saddle, right on the step. And I can shoot all the way back to 6 o'clock. 6 to 3 right there, no problem. Very simple. And here I'm just heading back. And I get back here to the platform. Now, one thing I will say, if you just loosen your Prusik or your Ropeman 1, I can lower it down a little bit to be able to step down to that step below my top step. So right here, I was just kind of seeing how fast I could get around to the other side, and I think it took me about five seconds to get all the way back to 6 o'clock six to three right there what i like about that then is that you're keeping the tree behind between you and the animal which i like and you can see the animal at all times 
Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have any ideas on uh, what you like to do for the weak side shot when saddle hunting, uh, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear, hear about it so we can help each other out. Until next time, stay on target.